Hey, today I'm going to talk about five tips in about five minutes on how to get motivated and stay motivated right now on The Front. Thanks for tuning in to Lead the Teams, The Front. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Front. My name is Mike Phillips, and I will be your host. As always, you can please check out my website at leadtheteam.net for free sales tips, motivational suggestions, and leadership training. Also, you could cruise on over to leadtheteam.tv and please subscribe to the YouTube channel there. And if you're interested in the audio podcast, check out Google Play, iHeartRadio, and iTunes. And one last thing, whether you're listening to audio or video right now, please participate in the comments down below. Share your thoughts, share your opinions, as often that leads to a really excellent future show. So today I'm knocking out five tips in about five minutes on how to get motivated and stay motivated. And we've all seen people that seem super motivated and pumped up. And we've said, man, that person seems highly motivated. They seem to have limitless energy and a positive attitude. And man, I wonder where that comes from. How can I get some of that? Well, motivation at its core is need. Motivation is either need or want. When you need something bad enough or you want something bad enough, you have enough reasons on why you need or want those, then it starts to produce energy. It starts to produce positivity. It creates focus. It gets you moving in the right direction towards that goal or towards that task or that item. So here are my five tips on how to get motivated and how to stay motivated. Number one you need to define what your want or your need is. Define the goal. There are many people that say, well, what is your why, right? What's the why? What's the reason behind you wanting to do anything? Or what's the reason behind you needing to do this? All you have to do is sit down and define it to yourself. You don't have to justify it to anyone. You don't have to have a whole lot of of strategy or a whole lot of, uh, you, you don't need a whole roadmap at this point. All you need to know is what is the why. Number two, you need to start writing things down. When you write things down, when you write your goals down, it makes it more important. Psychologically, you'll remember things better. You start to write it down and you start to strategize. And when you start to strategize, you start to come up with activities and tactics and things will just start to come into play. They become more real. Number three, you need to focus on the goal every single day. Get it out in front of you. That's part of the reason to write it down also. You can pull that paper back out and look at it. Tape it to your mirror. Put it in your car. Fold one up and stick it in your wallet or purse. You need to be able to look at your goals every single day. Number four, recheck your why regularly. Recheck the goal. Recheck the why. Make sure it's still important to you. Check to see if it's evolved. If things have changed, it's okay to change the goal and change the outcome. You have to be constantly checking and kind of thunking the dials and seeing, okay, is this exactly where I was headed or what I wanted when I started? And if it is, cool, keep going. Keep looking at it every day. Keep knocking it out of the park. If it's evolved or if it's changed, it's okay to change it and then write down new things. Number five, repeat it. Start over from number one. Do it with every single goal. Do it with your sets of goals. Start over from number one and work on through that process. That's it. It's that simple. Those five things. When you want to get motivated or when you want to stay motivated, just work through this simple process. It can be done for long-term goals. It can be done for short-term goals. You could do this every day for that one thing you wanted to accomplish today. You could do it for things that you want to accomplish this week or over the next year or make a five-year plan. Just make sure that you keep working back through that process and just keep it really simple so it's something that you can look at, write it down, come back to it, right? As with anything, this is not a one-time deal. It's not just, well, hey, Mike, thanks so much for the tips. I'm going to do this one time and I'm never going to have to do it again. I'll see success. I'll stay highly motivated and pumped up because I did this once. It doesn't work that way. You got to stay consistent. You have to do this often. You have to do it every day, every week, every month, and so on, right? 
So make sure you're consistent. And when you're consistent and you work through this process, it will blow your mind at how quickly things start to present themselves to you, how quickly things start to happen and fall into place. And when that happens, you get wins. And when you get wins, you get excited and you get more motivated and then you do it all over again. So I'm gonna run through that back through those five things really quickly right now. Number one is define what you want or need. Number two, make sure you write, write it down and then write down the strategies and tactics to go along with it. Number three, focus on it every single day. Get it out in front of your face. Number four, recheck it regularly and make sure that you're still headed in the right direction and reevaluate if needed. And number five, repeat it. So that's my five tips to get motivated or stay motivated in about five minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Front today. Remember, I do this every single Wednesday and Sunday, new episodes, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel or the podcast or check it out on Facebook. I would sure appreciate it. Thank you so much, and until we speak again, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.